God. What kind of God do we have? Who is the real God? The God that exists. The God that exists is personal. And that's very important. It has many ramifications for us in our life. One of the ways that we know that God is personal is because he can think. In Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4 we see that uh, God has a plan. And I want you to see this. You might want to look it up. It says, just as he chose us in him before the foundations of the world, that we may be found holy and blameless before him in love. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4. A lot of things can be said about this passage. But one of the things that I want to say about this passage is that we clearly see that anyone who can plan can think, and therefore they're personal. God is not impersonal. He actually can see and not only can he see what's going on and think and, and, and consider what's before him, he has already considered all things in his personal mind before they were even created, before the foundations of the world. So what do we have here? We have a God who can think. He has a plan. The interesting thing here is that if you have faith in Christ, you're part of his plan. Well, really, no matter who you are, you're part of his plan. So when I tell you that God has a plan for you, it's not me telling you, it's God. As he has clearly said through his apostle, Paul, in this passage, this is the apostle Paul, that God has a plan for you. He clearly says that. What is the plan? Everybody has a particular plan, but what is the universal plan for all Christians? The same plan as, me, as he has for me is the same plan that he has for you. And this plan that he has been planning from eternity that he has for you regardless of whether you think you are good or bad or whatever you think you are his plan is that in Christ Jesus by putting faith in Christ that he will make you holy and he will make you blameless and you will be measured holy and blameless in love and this is God's entire plan so, those aren't small things, and they're not peripheral. They're not on the sides. He really does seriously want you to become blameless. But he doesn't just want you to be blameless. He has planned that if you are in Christ, he will make you blameless. He will make you holy. How does this come about first? His plan is that this will occur in and through love.